Hey guys, so in this video we'll be learning how to create a multi-site on WordPress. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first you'll need a WordPress website. So I'll link to a video now showing how you can set up a WordPress website. So you can have a look at that first if you don't have a website yet. So once you have a website, then first we'll need to enable multi-site on our WordPress install. So to do that, what you want to do is go into your file manager. So this will be in your cPanel or your hosting settings. So just over here in tools, we can go here to file manager. And then after that, we're going to open up our the directory of our website. And then we're just going to need to edit the config file here and then go down to the bottom. OK, so just right above here, what you want to do is define WP allow underscore multi site. And then true and then semicolon and then we're going to click save okay so back in our dashboard we go here under tools and then we now have this feature called network setup so we can click into that okay so now it gives you two options in terms of how you'd like to proceed with setting up a multi-site so since we're already using a subdomain in our case it will be better to go with the subdirectories so that each website will be on a separate directory other than a domain but if you're building a network on a root domain so I would recommend subdomains over subdirectories as you're able to edit the first section of domain, which you can really organize your network better. Say for each blog, you can do tech, finance, or any other niche compared to the subdirectory where it will show your root domain first and then the topic. So it's all personal preference, but in terms of SEO as well, I think subdirectories are more beneficial as you're focusing more on the root domain. So it's something you'd have to kind of do research on based on your use case. Okay, so we're just going to do subdirectories and then just give it a network title and then your admin email and then just click install. Okay, great. So next we're going to have to do some more configuration in our config file. Okay, so we're going to have to copy this. And then in our config file, just underneath where we added the allow multi-site, we're just gonna add those commands and click save. And then the next instructions are to add this into the HC access file. Okay, and then we're gonna copy. Okay, and then back in your file manager, you just wanna open this and click edit, and then just remove the default and then paste. Okay, and then it says once you completed these steps, you'll have to log in again. Okay, so let's do that. So just log in. Okay, great. So now we have this new portal here titled My Sites. So as you see, we have our main site here. And also up here, we have this new tab called My Sites. So compared to before where we were only, where we only had one site on our domain, now we have multiple sites. So to create a new site up here in the network admin, what we wanna do is just go here into Sites and then just add new site. So essentially you would just add a new domain. So let's say site one, site one, and then just the admin email. Okay, and then just add site. Okay, great. So now if we view the dashboard, yep, so we see here we're now on site one. So if we visit site one, it's just a standard WordPress install as before. So it's a completely fresh site separate from our other site. So we see here, the title is site one. And then up here, if we go into the corner, we can go back into our main site, the multi-site, and then visit this site. And then you see the titles change as well. So the benefits of having a multi-site is that you're able to manage all your websites under one WordPress install. So if you check here, you're able to essentially just remove all the redundant work of having to create new servers for each time you want a new website. And then you would have to maintain each one of those servers and each one of those WordPress installs. So in our case, if we go here on our network admin, if we go into plugins, we're able to update all our plugins on all our websites, as well as our themes as well. And then again, we're able to add multiple websites here and then just view all our websites. So let's go over here into the network settings and see what's available here. Yeah, so also with multi-site is if you're allowing registrations, if you register on one site, it'll allow 
that user to access your other site. So if you have a bunch of multiple membership sites, that could be useful as well. But that's another good feature of uh, having a multi-site is just user management, as well as over here, you're able to just set some parameters in terms of allowing which domain, which usernames, and then you can ban certain domains if you think they're linked to spam. Yep, so all of these settings would be applied to all your multi-websites. So lastly, if we wanted to just delete one of the sites, so we can just go over here and either deactivate it. Okay, so if you deactivate the site, it's kind of hidden. So if we go to visit this website, yep, so if we visit this site, when we're not logged in, it says this site is no longer available. And then let's just try to reactivate the website. So back here, let's just click activate. Okay, so activate the site. And then let's double check again, okay, and then refresh. Great, so now site one is, is available again. If you wanna delete a website, but you don't wanna necessarily get rid of the data, deactivating the, the site could be an option. But if you're looking to completely delete the website, then you can just go over here and then delete. And then that will just remove it completely from your network admin over here. But again, with the main site, you're not able to delete or deactivate as it is the root domain. So this concludes how you set up a network multi-site. So it's beneficial if you're looking to set up multiple websites on one WordPress install. This method is good if you're managing websites for clients or if you have multiple websites in your, in your business. Having a multi-site allows you to manage everything under one WordPress install. So I'll link to this article here from WordPress. So essentially it just goes more into detail about setting up a multi-site. And then again, with the commands that we use here, so you can just refer to this article just to get more details about how to set up a multi-site. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you were able to set up a multi-site on your WordPress website. Please like and subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.